G'day everyone, you never guess what, it's Temu time. So, I've got a large package here with a few interesting things inside. All gardening sort of. So, let's see what's here this time. I'm sure I make up about 50% of the Chinese economy. First up, we have this. And I can't for the life of me remember what I ordered. Yes, I can. This I got because it's spring, and that means we should be planting our strawberries. So I saw this wonderful piece of gear that allows us to grow strawberries in a tower. And it's made out of that felty sort of stuff. There's two of them. And they look like a standard sort of bag, just with some extra holes in here to put my strawberry runners in. There. So I actually have to take out my strawberries from the hanging baskets, because the hanging baskets are kind of kaput. I bought some potting mix, and we shall get those in tomorrow. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like eight holes in them. Nice handles to move them around. They look a reasonable size. This will be our strawberry tub. And as we saw, we've got little pouches here where I can put my strawberry runners in. So let's pop some potting mix in. We've now filled it up a little bit. I'm going to fill it up with some more. We've got a little place to pop our strawberry runner in there. So I'll put a handful of blood and bone in. Mix that through a bit. A bit more. Handful of the generic NPK. Touch more. Mix that right through. Some more potting mix. Hello, Ruth. No strawberries ready for you yet. Good handful of chicken pellets. Some more potting mix. All right, another bit of blood and bone to and some NPK. And now to get some strawberry runners. So I've got some Alpine strawberries here, which I've been growing from seed. And take them out, there seems to be two in here. We're going to break them up a bit. There we go. So there they are. We're going to pop them in here. Make some space. These holes and pouches are not very big. I'm going to get a little bit more of that. They are very small. Hopefully that'll be all right. And we'll put the other one over here. Let's pop him in. Make sure the roots are covered. So there's a couple. These are, as I said, alpine strawberries. I've got some old hanging baskets with strawberries in here that are doing reasonably well but the baskets themselves have had it. So I'm gonna dig these out and pop them in around here. So where's my little shovel? As gently as we can, tease them out of the soil, shake off a little bit of the dirt. And see if we can fit them in here. So 
one thing I found out, if I'd done this when it was half full, it's easier to dig out from behind, make some room for the strawberry, and then push the soil back in. So I should have done it at the halfway mark with the bottom ones, and then filled it up a bit more to do the upper ones. All right, getting the last couple out that we need. All right, we'll just trim some of the dead stuff off here. There we go, and we'll pop in, in through the top. Carefully pulling it through. And we'll put him through the top as well. We'll get all the weeds out. And there we are. We have our strawberries coming out of the holes here. A couple of normal strawberries, few or two of the alpine strawberries, which are really tasty, but really small. We'll put them somewhere nice and see if they grow. And if they do, I'll fill the other one up and buy some strawberry runners from somewhere. Last little bit, let's get some triple C on there. I think I was sponsored by Zapco. But I'm not. I just like their stuff. All right, good layer of straw on top. It's really important with these felt bags because they dry out very quickly. We'll keep it nice and damp, and then we'll see if we get any strawberries. So that's the strawberries done and dusted. We'll see how they go. Will it actually work? But I've still got a fair bit of stuff to get through in the uh, Temu time. So I think we'll do a part two. Have you had any luck with these bags trying to grow strawberries in them? I don't know. They look okay to me, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know if you have any luck. Comments below. So please, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the garden.